So here I have a whole bunch of uh, numbers, and every so often I have a subtotal. And it goes on and on, I'm down to row 134, so 133 data. How do I get the grand total? There are lots of ways um, to do it. One is what's listed here. I can just put in all that information and it'll clearly be susceptible to errors. Another way is using the SUMMIF function where row column A equals subtotal, add up column B. Another one is using the sum product. The N function changes true to, true to one and false to true, false to zero. So I'm saying where A equals subtotal, add up B. And finally, there's the sum of that, which you might think is the same as the first one, but I, if I do it here, do a control alt equals, so I alt equals, it puts it in correctly, which is really nice. But here's a problem. I'm gonna get rid of all these for now. And if I do uh, set this up this way, I now have these in groups. So they're all separated by a, by a, a blank in here. So at the very bottom, if I go back to the bottom and I wanna get the subtotal on the grand total, I can't use the alt equals because it just gives me that one number. However, what we just saw before, if I make this selection, so I'm selecting them all and do alt equals, look what it put in there. Come on, scroll down. It put that in. That's pretty cool. And of course, the best way to do this is just add them all up. The sum of B1 through B140 in this case, and just divide by two. Yeah. Same right answer. Now, it might be odd. Why would that work? Well, let's just use this chunk as an example. These add up to 540. I mean, that's what this says. So I have 540 in here twice. And I have each group in there twice. So you just um, add them up, divide by two. Here's a few missing. How to. Okay, here's the task. I want to take all this stuff and remove everything before the colon. Matter of fact, everything before the colon and the following um, space. So there's only one colon. They all have a colon and a space. I want to remove them. I'm going to give you a couple of techniques to do it. One is by a formula. So first, I have to find out where is the colon. Equal find. I'm looking for a colon. I'm looking for it in A3. And that tells me it's in position 6. Given that, I want to take the mid of A3. For the sixth position, that's the colon. The seventh would be the space. So I want the eighth position. And just 255 or whatever big enough. Right. Find mid of that, find that. Oh, not comma eight, plus eight. No, no, no. I said eight. I meant plus two. It's the find. Fine gave me the position of the colon. I want to add two to it to account for the space and the next character. And when I fill this down, of course, I get all the right answers. But I still have to copy and paste it on top of that. I can right mouse click, drag, right mouse click on the border and drag, and then copy here as values only. That leaves this alone, but I can just get rid of it. You know you can use the fill handle for to erase. Taking out a blank cell, fill handle. Okay, and that, that solves it, but I'm gonna undo all that. And use text to columns. If I click on that and I go to data, text to columns, and it is delimited, and it's delimited by a colon. I don't have to click the other tab because I type a character in here, other gets clicked. Um, and then finish. Problem is, again, I need to have the answer here, but this has um, a leading space because I couldn't put colon space in the text the columns. So I could, since this is not a formula, in here I could do equals the trim of, whoops, Equal, I'll just tell you, equals the trim of this, fill it down, and then get rid of column B. But let's look at otherwise. Flash fill. 
I can just do this. Enter it, hit Control E, I'm done. Except I have to copy this and remove, you know, copy it on top of this. Well, move it on top. Not copy it, just drag it here. Let's cut and paste. Yes, that's another one. But my favorite is by doing replace. Select this and doing Control H, replace. And what am I replacing? Everything before colon space. What am I replacing it with? Nothing. All done. Live demo of the arrange all order. Okay, I'm going to put a three here just for a moment. And then I'm going to add four new workbooks, maybe five, and then I'll arrange them. View. Uh, arrange all, tiled. Now you know that the active one is the top left. What's the order of the rest of them? Well, let's say I'm going to put these in this order. I want this one to be first top left, and then this one, two, I already have a three, so there's a four, five, six. I have seven, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I already have the one. Okay. So this is the order I'd like them in. All I have to do is click each one of these in the reverse order. So I'm going to click the six. I just clicked it and click the five and the four and the three. I'm not clicking the number, just the sheet that contains it. Then the two, then the one. And then I go back to view, arrange all. Tiled, and look, one, two, three, four, five, six. Did you know that you can have text boxes have more than one column to it? If I do a control one on that, go to text options and go to this guy. At the bottom, I can wrap the text in shape, which it normally does, but it has a little button here saying columns. I can make it, let's say four columns. And I can specify the width between columns. Right now it's seven tenths of an inch. Let's make it two tenths of an inch. Cool stuff, right? Here's another one of these weird things. It's for later. It has the word Bob in it. Distribute. Um, if I have the number 100 here and I want that to distribute a number in here so evenly so it gets to 250, Actually, I think I wanted this here. No, here. There we go. Since there are, the formula in this cell is C16 minus C1. So 250 minus 100 is 150. Divided by the row of C16, which is 16, minus the row of C1, which is 1. So 150 divided by 15 is 10. But it's not so obvious if it's like over here or if this number were uh, 307, right? So I'd have to learn this formula, memorize it, whatever, and then somehow put that in each one of these for an even distribution. But watch this. If I make this selection and I go to the Home tab and I go to Fill, um, no, where is it? Oh, Insert? No, Fill. Here it is. Fill, justify, no, fill series, there we go. Fill series, watch, that number is here. That number that you see in E2, it's there. Let's take that 307, move it up to here. I make this selection and I go to fill series. That number 23 is in here. If I do that, done.